Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a year since I've done an update on the BE470 manufacturing video, so I thought I'd drop back in and get it finished. Uh, if you haven't already watched the first two videos in this series, please go ahead and watch those first, although I will quickly run through what I did here. The aim of this project was to make an honest um, job at having a go at, at sort of manufacturing and 3D printing a new version of this iconic radio. Now the idea wasn't to make an exact replica but something that approached something that was fairly similar to the original radio. I'm paying homage to the original fire radio that was used. For the electronics of this radio we used a Zastone V77 and uh, I removed the, control, the microphone and the channel selection controls and the volume knob off of the actual base board and then made and designed a 3D chassis for them to be fitted around the outside of the walkie talkie unit. Now this was uh, a good test of my skills, my emerging 3D design and printing skills and a year ago I managed to print off the base of the radio as you can see here and I, I got the, the controls wired in and some nuts placed and it all seemed to be working nicely and put together nicely and I laid it out on the bench, got it all wired up and tested and everything seemed to function okay and I was really really pleased with how the project was coming on. Now those of you that follow the channel will realise that um, I've had a very busy year, I've had a house move and a few other things so it took me a year to get back round to doing this project. Now the original radio was obviously the, the B470 here was was a, uh, a very novel radio for its time and if you watch those first two videos you'll find a little bit more detail about this radio unit. Now I could have uh, actually manufactured this along similar lines uh, but really this was um, more of a, like I say, a nod to the original radio um, with, it, with it being, you know, quite an incredible amount of work for me to actually uh, go and apt, absolutely copy this directly, which was never the plan for me. So anyway, this, this design had been made about a year ago and here we are a year later, ready to actually get it on the 3D printer. Now, here's a time lapse for you, which shows you roughly the five hours it took to print the case. This case was printed at quite a low resolution, so it's not the best quality because it was really just a quick case to prove that uh, the components would fit. Uh, and also the color, it doesn't quite match the original radio, as you can see there. It's very hard to actually get this uh, colors to match. Um, very hard to see online, actually. The color looks similar, but when in reality, it's not. So I, I printed off that and the headpiece as well. On the 3d printer that took a little less time and then the sort of silver part which i could if i wanted to get these manufactured in aluminium i could send the files to a cnc machining company anyway i was quite pleased with the prototype i did uh, purchase uh, an antenna to, to go on the unit um, but having put it against the unit i didn't like it so i proceeded to make a small antenna um, that ma closely matched the original antenna i thought this would be better it would look better it would look more realistic um, so I 3D designed and quickly 3D printed another antenna to go on top of it and the other thing you might notice if you've looked at the other videos is that I've actually replaced the battery the original battery was a bit too big it didn't need to be anywhere near that big so I've actually put a smaller cell in there and if I was doing this uh, as a, a unit I was going to use daily I'd put the charging socket on the outside another thing you might notice is that I've moved the speaker to the back of the radio reason for this was that in its original location it was a bit too tight to the front of the case so I managed to find a place for it in the back and if I was re redesigning this uh, chassis I would obviously make provision for that speaker to be mounted at the back. Um, managed to get an SMA lead in there connected to the aerial socket so I could fit a better antenna should I wish to in the future and that was it. I was really pleased really with how the chassis was coming on. So here's the uh, proof of the pudding then. Um, we we got the, the case manufactured. So as you can see, it's a little bit rough around the edges. Doesn't need to be any better than that. The original case is actually quite rough. So this bit actually is made in two parts. I could actually make this dial spin. I printed it in one piece because it's really just a cosmetic piece at the moment. But if I was um, going to engineer this further and I didn't want to remove it, I could make that a removable uh, part quite easily. But you'll see there it does match the original. The belt clip again, that was just a, a token gesture really. I could make this a sprung clip as per the original radio, uh, but because I'm not really gonna wear this on the belt, that was really just a functional thing. Um, the, the head unit again, very, very close to the original, not exactly matching it, but as near as makes no difference. As you can see there, it is very, very similar to the original set. On the side of it, not all of the, the uh, burn deck radios had that tone button on the side, so I actually took that off. 
Uh, it's just one less thing to mess about with and worry with. So I was really pleased with the antenna, uh, and I'll show you here just how closely it matches the original antenna. As you can see there, very similar indeed. And uh, of course, neither of them being particularly good antennas. Um, I bought a roll of PLA just to do the PTT button, which has come out really, really nice and matches the original colour very closely there. It's a snug fit in the case, but it goes in nicely, as does the PTT button, which drops in snugly, and the natural spring inside that lever switch provides the, the actual retention on the spring, which I was after. And uh, I designed the case with some closed nuts there, so we could put some Allen bolts in the side, or cap heads, whatever you want to call them, and screw it down nice and tight. So standard SMA lead here, which I butchered one end of, and uh, got a nice uh, hole through the top there. And because it's a female SMA connector, should I wish to, I could mount another antenna, a much better antenna, to the top of it if I really wanted to. And those side parts, the potentiometer and the um, the channel selection arm, you can see there. I could actually get them manufactured out of aluminium as well, should I wish to take this any further, because I've got all the, the CAD parts. So let's have a listen to see how this sounds. I'm not expecting great things, not great audio quality, but I think it's going to be pretty passable. I've not actually heard yet an original BE470, so I won't be able to compare the two. But um, we'll have a listen. Let's, uh, let's pop it on and just see how good that speaker sounds from the back. I think it's going to be reasonable, but let's, let's see and find out. For the channel selection, I would have had to have put two switches in to give me up and down. So if you cycle through and keep going up, you can go around the channel horn to 16. So it was just one less thing for me to worry about. And uh, the original radio, of course, was only a three channel radio, as you can see there, A, B and C. So I think it's pretty close. I mean, if we got the correct color and we got the correct texture and you can print textures on 3D printers, um, if we did that then we'd get a lot closer so I think for a first prototype I'm really quite happy with how it's come out um, like I say it was never meant to be an exact copy that would be far too complicated for me <laughs> to try and do with my uh, uh, skills as they are I mean I think I've done quite well considering prior to this I didn't have any skills uh, 3d design or printing skills a year ago so I'm really quite happy with how these have come out so let's just do a little test here a uh, power test and just make sure the thing works. Transmit on the RT5, PMR8, one, two, full volume, one, two. And we'll try on this, turn the volume up on that. Alright, here we go. One, two, testing. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm really, really pleased how these have come out. I think uh, I'm, I'm hoping you enjoyed it anyway and uh, I know it's been a very long time in getting this radio finished but I think uh, people that have been watching the channel will understand I've been super super busy um, but now uh, with us all being locked in I thought it's an ideal time for me to get some of these projects sorted out. I think this uh, radio is, a, is, is great. I'm not going to be making any to order guys so uh, please don't contact me. Uh, there's far too much work involved in them. Uh, but uh, I've just done this really as a principle just to see if I can see if I could do it and I'm really really pleased and I think you'll be able to uh, agree with me by seeing the uh, fruits of my labour here that I think I've managed to put it off fairly well. Um, I haven't forgotten there was another project started back then and that was the Pi PF8 project. I think some people have also been pressing to see that. Don't worry that's also in production as well and uh, if you haven't already seen that video go back and watch the Pi PF8 video and you can catch up about uh, that. And here's the intro to that video right now as I'm showing you there. So if you haven't already seen that, go and check out the Pi PF8 video. Um, the update to that will be coming this year, do not worry. And uh, we'll have a stab at making, uh, finishing off this project as well. So we'll have both radios in the bag. 
Okay, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Stay safe. Uh, I've got another range test video coming up. I'm going to go out over the weekend with some more radios and do another test. And so look out for that. Have a great weekend and stay safe. 73.